Okay, everybody, I'm going to show you how to render now. So, uh, I'm going to show you how to render uh, stuff in uh, After Effects, your final product or project that you're done with and you want to render it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, and since I closed the project that I was showing you in the tutorial before this, I'm going to just uh, open up a recent one. Okay, we're going to go to right here. Let's see, where is it? Okay. Okay, there it goes. It's showing up now. Okay, right there. Okay, now I'm going to uh, let's see, show you how to render this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, composition mode. Let's see. Yep, we're going to add this to render queue in composition. Okay. Add it to render queue, and right there we add it to render queue. This was what I did before on this project, uh, so we can get rid of that, I guess. Okay, now this is what we're going to do now, and I'm going to show you how to put this uh, in the quality that you, you need. Depending on what version of Windows you have, or what version of Mac you have, or whatever computer you have, or whatever, it might be a little different, but I have a Mac, so I'm going to show you how to... Uh, render this into HD. Make sure for Mac users you put this in QuickTime or if you're Windows try to put it in WMB. Uh, so for this I have a Mac so I'm going to put it in QuickTime Then what we're going to do format, we're going to change the format we're going to change it to uh, yep right here okay right there we want, uh, I usually put it in H264 because uh, usually when I do that, it comes in smaller, uh, like uh, like the file size is smaller, but it stays in HD. And I do that a lot with all my videos that I do uh, on my Mac and everything. When I want to put them in HD, I do uh, H.264. See what you see here? Leave this, leave this, this. Okay. Let's see. Right there. Okay. Press OK. And then right here, color channels, leave that. I say leave, leave that, that, that. Okay, right, right there. Okay, to none. Okay, leave that. Okay. The next, what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna go to make sure it's on best settings. Okay, checked here, here. Make leave it on twenty nine point nine nine seven. Okay, and then uh, current settings. Leave that. Leave uh, that. Okay, make sure it's on. Yeah, make sure it's on twelve eighty by seven twenty, and you should have this all ready to go. Uh, pretty much for the size on HD. And uh, it's if say right here, like like I said in my uh, getting started tutorial, I showed you how to uh, uh, change the right here the timeline. Uh, I showed you how to change it to however long you want to do it, and I said you could do it like through here as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the custom. I'm gonna show you like see it, it, if it's not exactly at ten like I wanted it to be ten seconds. We can change it up in here a little bit to like 10 seconds. So right there, and put it to 10 seconds. And now it'll be exactly 10 seconds. And the duration will always go up to uh, a second uh, afterwards just to be sure because it always does that. Make sure that it actually did the exact 10 seconds. So we're going to right there, press OK. OK. And make sure it's on. Also make sure you use OpenGL Render because uh, it'll make it really good. All this that you see here, okay? Okay, and uh, color depth. I guess you could put the color depth, I guess you could put it to 32-bit floating point, I guess. Okay, right there, that's good. And press OK, okay. And then you're ready to go, and you want to put your output, you want to output this to uh, wherever you want to output it to, and we're going to change the name to, I'll just put like, uh, to, to tutorial on this so that I don't mess up any others that I have. Okay, tutorial. Okay, right there, and then we're going to press render. Okay, and then I'm going to pause the video and show you uh, uh, the, oh, yeah, when it's done, how it looks. Okay, now uh, the animation is done, and when your animation is done, it'll usually, uh, done rendering your everything you did in After Effects, it'll make a beeping sound. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like, the final product. Okay, so I'm going to here, I'm going to go to my book where it is, and I'm going to go to 
uh, where it is is in important files folder and then I put it in here okay and here this folder and I go to account intros I go to that folder let's go to right here there's where it is okay Okay, this is right here. This is it. Okay, this is it. This is everything. This is the animation. Everything I did. Okay. Alright, that's it. That's everything. And if you want to make it, uh, add a little more to it or whatever, say that you want to do a few of it, uh, in After Effects, whatever, and then you want to do some more in like Sony Vegas Final Cut, you just drag it in there and add whatever you want to it, whatever you want to add more. And that's it. That's all in this uh, tutorial how to render. That's it. And that's uh, how you do it. And uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Check out my uh, uh, beginner's tutorial. I'll put a link to that at the end of the video. And, uh, and also check out my website, pixelpocketmedia.com. Check out uh, my other tutorials. I do a bunch of uh, tutorials I've done uh, so far. I've done Cinema 4D. I've done uh, 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 Sony Vegas Final Cut. I've done Photoshop. I've done tutorials on that. I've done a, a couple FL Studio tutorials for people who have Windows because I do both Mac and Windows tutorials. And I've done like Logic Pro tutorials. I've done like two of those so far and I would like to do more Logic Pro and FL Studio music making tutorials. So that's it. See you later. And that's it.